Hi, I'm Thea. And I'm Jenny Merritt. Welcome to our YouTube channel, which is called Art Demo by Jenny and Thea. Yeah, and we're planning to do a few different mediums, which will be fun. Some watercolor, um, some palette knife work, and as you might see, the big canvas behind, large abstracts. No, we've, we've put out a few um, you've seen on, on YouTube already. All of our details um, for social media are on there, our YouTube channels, and yes. our Instagram, and our websites. So, yeah, enjoy our channels and thanks for sticking with us. Just give us a like and a subscribe, and it all helps. Thanks. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers. Hi, um, today I'm going to do an abstract. Uh, no reference. Um, Abstracts, this is a 120 by a meter. Um, how I construct an abstract, um, everybody thinks it's easy, it's not really, you've got to know the basics. And the first basic is composition, um, and then a balance of color. So I'm going to start uh, one way, and you'll see it'll change over the filming. Right, this is going to be uh, in acrylic. I'm using a, a make called Shub Art, which is quite thin and uh, which is great because as you can see I haven't got anything on the palette but the simple reason is I'm going to start with the basic composition and the way I do this is like that, just to start with. I'm using uh, old cardboard just to scrape it. And I'm literally squirting it on here and shifting it around there. And just balance. All this is a balance. Now, once I've got the focal point up there, the secondary one down here, I need just another possible something down there. So now you've got the three balances. Uh, this dark color, which is paints gray, is not going to stay there in the second round. But I need it for the balance in the first place. What, is, what went through your head? No, um, look, this is, this is a very basic um, composition. You, you must have a focal point. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. in any painting, it yeah. doesn't matter what subject it is. Because those angles of telling a story already, that's beautiful, yeah. I love it. Now, the focal point is this one. Yeah. Now you have um, in, a, in a canvas four quadrants, squared off. Right. The top left is generally because we in the Western society read from left to right. Oh. So you're going to read it from there with this to that, down to this one and hopefully back again. So you're keeping your eye in the canvas. Oh, but this yes. doesn't only apply to, to abstracts, of course. Yeah. It can be a portrait oh. as well. The eyes, the nose, the mouth in a portrait. So there is always a composition, always balanced. Now I'm using this kind of titanium bar. This is my background in a way. And are you using, um, is, it, is it on purpose, a, a warm to a cool yes, to begin the, with? Yes, the, the, yeah. the um, um, blues are very cold, so, so I, I'm, I'm, I'm actually just killing the canvas. Did you dip your brush in water? A little bit in water now, I'm just picking up, I'm letting this go. It's going to look like a mess for a while, don't worry about it. What I'm doing here is the undercoat. I'm placing the, the composition, but it's the undercoat. I've got to kill the canvas. I must get rid of the white of the canvas. So. Starting to construct a little bit, very subtly. Just keep in mind, um, when you want to actually sell the painting, or find a buyer or something. Uh, there are trends which you must follow, whether you like it or not, and uh, that's in colors. Sometimes I fight against it, but... Jesse, 
she disagrees with you. <laughs> <laughs> the trends, the trends, very much are paler colours um, at the moment. So stick with it. To go with it. Now, what can happen is you can draw. Let's just start constructing shapes. Just for fun and just see where they take us. A lot of abstract comes in with design. Just designs. And I use the term just doodle. Just, just let it go where it wants to go. Um, and enjoy the process. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I've seen you do people and cats, and I've seen cityscapes. What is this doing? Oh, I've seen f flamingos. Flamingos. You know, it, 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 isn't it funny? You, they don't average art is in the eye of the world. I've had done abstracts where I've, I've done really a pure abstract with no thought in mind, just the basics, and people have found things. Each viewer has some, something different to see, uh, and that's the fun of abstracts. I have put in this um, very strong um, green at the moment just to lift it, but at this stage, I really need it to dry completely, and you will see I'm gonna take away a lot of what's on here to simplify and that's an abstract you can have a very busy one certainly but in this case i want to simple simplify simplify and i will be able to go over this when it's well dry with a light color and start taking out what i don't like okay i need to ask you about your composition and you mentioned lead in lead out yes um, you know, there's a subconscious thing in any painting. There's what you call a lead in. Could be a road in an abstract, or, or a tree, or something like that. Um, it catches your eye subconsciously. Uh, it could be anywhere, not necessarily at the bottom. I've got some a lead in, a little lead in there, but this is a very strong one. So that'll catch your eye subconsciously. You won't look at that. It'll just take your eye in and around, hopefully and then be led out by. That's the principle. Let's see if we get it right. As from the previous where we left off, um, I wasn't happy, I need a bit of uh, excitement, colour, shape, design. So this is where I am at the moment. I'm not dead happy about that area, it's not quite resolved. Um, this is working quite nicely for me. What I have been using is not only brushes, but I've used a board like this to scrape the colour on. As you can see the effects that I've got there and over here. It's amazing as you get to a point where it tells you what to do. <laughs> okay, so that might be the end of <laughs> Um, the abstract, yes. as Jenny says, you never can tell. But it has spoken to you and it looks like she has said that's enough. I think it's absolutely amazing. I love these um, really bright, shrieky colours. So yeah, that's another episode in the yeah. bag. Yes. Thanks very much for watching and give us a like and a subscribe on our YouTube channel and all our details are on there. Cool. Cheers. Thanks. Cheers.